Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Elite Kicks back with the weekly video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about something that I've had on my calendar for some time. We're going to be talking about the sneaker market and what you can do in terms of how best to sell sneakers, buying sneakers, and investing sneakers. Before we get into that, guys, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel grow so much. With that, guys, we're going to jump into today's video. I'm going to be talking first and foremost about the best place to buy sneakers during the sneaker market that you want to ultimately flip. That's the key thing here, buying sneakers right now and flipping them. A lot of Jordans are sitting, a lot of sneakers generally speaking are sitting. So where's the best place to go to buy sneakers? If you have an outlet in your area, you need to be checking that outlet almost on a daily basis. They are getting Jordan retros routinely and we're talking about the good Jordan retros and even if they're not good the quote-unquote brick Jordan retros that sell for $10 above retail or $20 above retail those are worth your time as well because a lot of times those retros have an additional percentage off a 30% off uh, and you could usually you can very easily get a 15% off coupon as well so for example this past week I was able to get the Jordan 5 Oreos at my local outlet and it was $190 in store but I had a 15% coupon which is essentially about 30 bucks off give or take here or there that brought the price down to after tax I paid close to a little just a little bit under 170 now I was easily able to flip that on StockX for after fees and everything easily able to flip it for around 200 to a five I think is what it what it was that's an easy way to make 30 bucks right then and there so if you're struggling to, to make money right now that's an easy way to make money hit up your outlets and a lot of times questions that I get is like okay what days do I need to go unfortunately outlets are a little bit different the best thing you can do is try to be friends with somebody there at the outlet or Go in during the week, go in on Tuesdays, go in on Fridays, see when they try to understand their restock schedule. And if you are having trouble buying sneakers for retail, don't forget to check out my Discord. On my Discord, we primarily develop guides about the sneakers app, the Nike app. We also provide a question and answering service. Any questions you have about the sneakers or Nike app, how best to situate your accounts to succeed, we provide that information as well. Another good place to buy sneakers, and this is if you're buying for personal, maybe you can buy to resell at a later point, but when you're on StockX and GOAT, don't ever buy now. Put in a bid, see what happens. GOAT for me has done amazing, only because I was able to get, I think it was the Jordan 1 mid Chicago Black Toe, which is usually like a $300 shoe. I was able to get it for $220 on GOAT, dead stock, brand new, everything like that. I put in an offer. Now it's a part of my collection. So it's a shoe that I've been looking for. So to recap, two big tips. Um, if you're looking to buy sneakers and you're looking to sell them quickly, try and make that quick buck, hit up the outlets, use the 15% off. They will have retros. If you're looking to buy sneakers and you're looking to add to the collection, don't hit buy now. Put in an offer. Someone will probably accept your offer. It will just take a little period of time. There's a lot of sneaker resellers out there trying to make money right now because there's the market has dried up a lot so now let's moving on to how to sell sneakers in this market right now so first and foremost if you don't have an Instagram profile for your sneaker page or anything you got to do that now build a following add people build connections and take it from there it's gonna take a while but you will be able to develop a following you will be able to develop, develop friends and you'll be able to sell sneakers on Instagram the second thing which I'm starting to get into a little bit as well and I'm just going to tell you guys to be cautious about this is consignment stores. It is a good way to make money. Consignment stores do sell sneakers for a lot more money. However, their fees are 20%. So the other thing to keep in mind here is that sneak is that consignment stores usually take a while to sell their sneakers. And you have to sell the right sneakers at the con consignment store. If you send the wrong sneaker to them, it could be sitting there for 30, 45, 60 days. So what I try to do is, if it's a new release that I feel like I can make a lot more money on, I will take that to a consignment store or send it to Stadium Goods so long as I get it in time. But 
if it's one that's an older release, it's a little bit harder to sell and sometimes more difficult to move quickly on stadium goods. Just my personal advice so far, but a lot of times you'll have to understand which sneaker sells best at consignment stores. And as you start going through the process, you'll understand, oh hey, this Jordan 1 Low that only sells for 100 bucks, that's easy to move at consignment stores. But maybe the high-end stuff is more, more of a challenge. The last thing I wanna talk about is investing in this current sneaker market. My rule now is I don't invest unless I'm 100% sure that this sneaker is going to make me money in the next three to four months. So for example, the Jordan 4 Military Black is a great example. No other shoe that I picked up on, I am holding in the long term. I'm moving it now because I don't know what the market, what the market's gonna look like in six, seven months. Are we going back to something that looked like 2016, 2017, or is this just the new age of sneaker reselling where only a small segment of shoes will make the most money and not every single lose, every single mid or every single low will make the most money so another piece of advice is be careful please be careful investing in dunks the market for dunks is drying up just because of so many colorways a lot of the good colors that have came out recently are only going for let's say 40 50 bucks over retail so just be mindful of that. Don't go out saying, "Hey, I'm gonna spend 200 bucks on this dunk," and then think that you're gonna make, think you're gonna be able to sell for 250, 300. Yes, you will at some point, but it's gonna be a much longer hold. And that leads to the, to the last final point about investing right now. If you're buying shoes right now, thinking that you'll be able to make money in three, four months, and lend is a hundred percent hold, like a Jordan 4 Military Black, you may be holding onto that sneaker for a long time. Any Jordan ones, any dunks, anything like that just be mindful of that with that guys that is the end of the video today thank you so much for tuning in next week's video we're going to be talking about investing in the Travis Scott Jordan 1 reverse mocha it is supposed to, it is scheduled currently to release on July 21st I did drop the hat a cop please be sure to check that out this is Elite Geeks signing off take care everybody